Okay, now for something completely different. I've um, been wanting to play this game for some time, and all my attempts to try have failed. Anyway, the game is, I'm doing a patrol at my work. What I do is I have a, um, I have a swipe card, which I have on the lanyard. And as we come up to this next door, I'll show you we have card readers. And I won't be able to show you me badging the card per se, because that'll be, the camera will be past that. But, okay, so on the doorway there, there's the card reader. And you might have heard a little beep. And coming up here. Now, the thing about this is I've got to be going with the right speed. I've got to be able to accelerate and I've got to be able to slow down and um, I need a reasonable amount of control now on an acoustic bike analog bike it all is pretty easy you know it's, you can feel the pressure but the thing for me is testing a torque sensor set up with it so with standard cadence sensing, you just can't do it. The, the run-on um, and the slowness to react and everything else just means that you can't do it. it it's um, not intuitive enough. But here, with the torque sensor, the power comes on when I want it. The power stops as soon as I stop pedaling. And so I do have the control I need. And you can, this is going to be more a listening exercise than a, than a seeing exercise. And so what you'll be listening to is that whir of the motor. And you do get a sense of that tinny run on there. But there's absolutely no power in that. Uh, so as soon as I stop pedalling, the power stops. Oh, I'll go around again. Uh, yeah, and so with this particular bike, which I find really cumbersome for this kind of thing. It's the bike I have for commuting. It's set up for going fast down hills and for climbing hills. It's not set up for going in and out of tight spaces. But if you use your ears and if you sort of pay attention as I approach places, I should actually say I'm approaching a place now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to one of the trickier trickier card readers um, and we'll see how I go on that but because the turning circle on this beast is so huge I'll probably fudge it anyway Oh, did it. Didn't put my foot on the ground. Batch the thing. Turn the tie circle. We've got no idea how much of that you saw. But anyway, that's the kind of thing. Okay, approaching another card reader now. Anyway. That will probably give you an indication of how responsive this particular motor is now, and this particular firmware is now, to torque. Actually, I'll go straight and give it one more test. It's a steep little bit of a hill. 
reach. I'll take it up. It's just a bit of bank. And then I'll complete this video. It doesn't need to be long. I just really wanted to show that responsiveness. But we'll just have a little play on this bank that's coming up. Just to give an idea. Now one, two, three, I'll put it in power level three. That's too much. I'll drop it down here. Mm -hmm. Get a spin out. Okay. So, for those who want to kick this bike out on a on, on a mountain bike for doing some techie climbing it's by no means perfect but it is going to be pretty good and when some open source firmware people get hold of it if that ever eventuates it has the potential to be just brilliant anyway that'll be it for now thank you for watching Bye for now. Okay, well, I lied. This is torque sensing. Uh, torque sensing Mark II. We'll, um, the little exercise here is I'm going around a compound with lots of sheds. And basically, I'll, I'll walk up to it so you can see the kind of game. see here there's a padlock now I'll just be riding around and these are my touch points I ride up to the padlock I won't answer the phone and that's just to prove that I'm at work so I'm stealing time to do this so I take the padlock and then I ride on so I need to be able to control the bike to be able to reach the touch point and of course I'm in a low power level for this exercise because I'd normally be doing this on a acoustic analog bike whatever and so lock there lock there and now I'll go backwards a little bit whoa and around and there okay I'm sorry about that that's a phone test going on. Now, I'm not hearing the motor. Before I was getting a whine in the motor, a little whinny, but that's not happening at the moment. And I don't know why there's that variation, but there is. Oh, I missed that one. We'll go around again. I am getting some assistance, so I'm filling it through the pedals, but not hearing the groan of the motor and the whine. And sometimes I have noticed that it's a louder whinny than others. And there's the whinny again.
so you're not really getting a good sense. It's actually better with the louder whinny just for you to hear when the motor was engaging and disengaging. It would sort of groan and then the whinny would be sort of a free spin. But anyway, this one's going to be a bit tight for this beast of a bicycle. We'll see how we go. Oh, and I broke my own rule. I touched the wall. Oy! Around we go. Good. Okay. So that's pretty much the game, the exercise. I get paid for doing this. Not so much paid for making the videos, but paid for going around and checking the locks on these doors and locks on the compounds and everything else. Um, and so we'll leave it at that. Uh, once I can work out how to lock it, turn off. <laughs>